So let's begin by assembling a selection of typical airport vehicles. First up, the aircraft steps. Never there when you need them. Let's have something buck their ideas up a bit today. Then we have the thing that lugs the luggage around, complete with the uh, luggage. The fuel tanker, heavy and full of stuff. Fuel. Next, the bendy bus that ferries the passengers around. We're already pretty familiar with those. Ah, the fire engine. Absolutely no excuse for tardiness for that one. And the catering truck. Always late, sometimes better if it didn't turn up at all. And finally, the heaviest beast of all, the aircraft tug. So, there we are. A group of machines that normally trundle around at a snail's pace. But just think how much faster the whole airport experience would be if we could speed things up. To show the airport bosses just what untapped potential these machines have, welcome to the inaugural Top Gear Various Airport Vehicles Motorsport Challenge Race Challenge. Our venue for this groundbreaking event is London's Heathrow Airport, just outside London. Normally, it is a lot busier th than this, but the people who run Heathrow have closed it for the day, and they've moved all the jumbos and the um, terminals off to the side. Add a shot. They have. That's what they've done. So, with that taken care of, all I need now are some drivers. Sadly, the airport ground staff just won't cut the mustard. But guess who I ran into in duty free? Touring car legend, Tom Chilton. Touring car legend, Matt Neal. Touring car legend, Matt Jackson. Touring car legend, Gordon Shedden. Touring car legend, Anthony Weed. And finally, truck racing legend, Stuart Oliver. The drivers climbed into their chosen machines, leaving me with the fire engine. I can't reach the switch. All of these vehicles have very different engines and what have you. And so whichever one wins today is the vehicle we will be recommending all future aircraft vehicles are based on, regardless of function or task. This is a pretty serious scientific experiment, so I have stressed to the other drivers in the strongest possible terms. Absolutely no body contact whatsoever. truck was incredibly noisy. On paper, it had got winning potential. The body is made largely of aluminium, like the wiring. It's got twin turbos, 725 horsepower. Yeah. On the miner's side, however, it was still a fire truck. Soon, I was falling back. The catering truck's ahead of me. The fuel truck's ahead of me. Oh, no! I mean, what good would this be in an emergency situation if the bloody catering truck gets there before the fire engine? And, predictably, with me out of the way, the touring car boys were ignoring my strict no-contact rule. <laughs> to get back in and restore order, I needed to act fast. Yeah, that'll do. Aha! Oh! Ah! I can't see where I'm going. I can't see. What has happened to the world? But the crash diet did the trick. Now I'm back in the race! In my lightweight fire truck Superleggera! Unfortunately, the other drivers weren't impressed with the new track conditions. 
into the race and no clear winner was emerging. The stairs in front of me now, well, they're a bit of an unknown quantity. Oh my God! So with great regret, I ordered the drivers to turn up the wig. <laughs> and pretty soon the results started to come with the fuel tender taking a pretty serious kicking from the catering truck. Just two laps to go, the 29-ton tug and the luggage trolley were at the back in a fight of their own. And following an accidental manoeuvre by me, ah! Whoa! the bendy bus was now crippled, meaning it was now all down to me, the catering truck and the stairs. A correction made that me and the catering truck which, as we entered the final lap, had suddenly changed tactics. Whoa! What's he done with that? What he'd done with that was genius. <laughs> that is very clever. The lightweight catering truck shot into the lead. But the racing driver, being a racing driver, had forgotten about the laws of physics. Oh, that is the catering truck out of it! That is good news indeed! Ah, there you go! So, airports of the world, take note.